getting into the top of the hour, which would be 8 a.m., four minutes to 8 a.m., we do continue with Friday's edition of Morning at NTV. Priscilla, Regina, Nalogi here to continue on with the discussions for the day. Now, in our tech note, we get to look at a very interesting topic that if you decided to break it down, it would actually break each one of us down in terms of how we respond to it, how we carry it on in our livelihoods and the day-to-day -day activities that we engage in. It's more so the core of who we are and the best line of what we become later on in life and that is just one word it's called culture the world culture day provides an opportunity to create awareness to the public on the importance of culture in development culture in deeper understanding of the values of cultural diversity as well as learning to live together in a better way so on this day we get to celebrate the world culture day and all state announced it actors take stock of their activities in promoting culture and subsequently lay strategies for future actions. Here to help us understand World Culture Day and more conversations is Mr. Sam Okelo Kelo, chairperson of the Uganda National Cultural Center. Good morning to you, Sam. Good morning, Priscilla. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very, very good. Thank uh, you. Just out of curiosity, there's people who are, is this real gold? Is it from Congo? <laughs> <laughs> It's from Uganda. Okay. Because <laughs> Uganda is also very blessed. Okay. Yes. All right. And how is the culture center? The culture center is doing well. We are doing great. We are celebrating the world culture day and there's lots of activities. Okay. And All right. We, we expected to culture. hear how yes. we're going to be celebrating it as Uganda. Also joining us for the same conversation is Hajar Nalveka, who's the senior culture officer with the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. Good morning to you, Hajar. Good morning, Priscilla. How are you? Very well. How are you, Priscilla? I'm very good. I'm going to start with you in your seniority. Uh, what is culture in the context of Uganda? Because this is a country that is blessed so many tribes we pride of over 50 tribes in this mm. country and yet we have this one word that is somehow supposed to unite all of us mm. culture yes very true Uganda is uh, blessed with over 65 communities uh, but also under culture the word culture is simply the way of life the way that we identify ourselves in what we do how we live how we eat how we dress how we marry and how we conduct ourselves is actually our culture. Mm. That is what exactly we mean by culture in Uganda. Okay, all right. Uh, Sam, how would you define culture for us as Ugandans? I think it's, uh, it's a manifestation of the, the human intellect. And because then it involves the different values, that value systems that we set. Mm -hmm. uh, it involves how we identify ourselves uh, it involves how we want to live, how we want to be governed, and uh, the different institutions that we create as human beings mm -hmm. to go on families. You know, family uh, the culture starts from the family. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it starts from who you think you are and how you fit in the general picture of Uganda yeah, as a country. Okay, all right. How would culture contribute to the Ugandan economy? Hajar. Thank you, Priscilla. Uh, in the Ugandan economy, um, we are uh, simply looking at um, the creative economy. We have a number of domains that exhibit themselves under culture. And uh, in here, we find people that are doing musical work. Mm. We find people that are doing performing and, and other activities that people are doing music and other related work, books and prayers. A lot of work, um, arts and crafts, visual work, a lot of work. And so all those uh, people combined under their different domains are contributing a lot to this country's economy. They are doing culture for development mm -hmm. at large. They are into these commercial culture activities. And by so doing, when people come in and uh, when they support these uh, local cultural products and services, they're actually contributing towards, um, first of all, creating incomes for these particular practitioners, but also contributing mm -hmm. to the revenue of this country. Okay, yes. all right. The, the, the other thing I wanted to add on uh, what my colleague has said is that w when we view culture, we need to, to also look not, not only on the, the expressions, because it comes in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you find that uh, 
the, the peoples of Africa are basically described in three categories. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have the farmers, you have the cattle keepers, you have uh, the, the people whose life depends on environment by collections and stuff like that. So you find that there are people also who contribute to the economy by executing the areas, the ethnic areas where they fall, the cattle keepers, you see how they raise their cows. So uh, uh, the, 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 the long-owned cattle, for example, is a major resource for Uganda. So our, the, the fact that that is promoted internationally is uh, South Africa has just recently imported our long-owned cows. Mm -hmm. eh? So that's one way uh, that uh, our culture is, is, is contributing to our economy by exporting the cultural values ideas and products of Uganda. Okay. Uh, also, um, there, we have two major Ugandan artists, like, uh, like, like Azara said, who are doing visual arts. Mm -hmm. At the moment, they are exhibiting in, in Venice by Nali, which is the biggest art exhibition mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Uganda, because of uh, the, 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 the great uh, art that is growing in our community, was the first African country that presented at the Venice Biennale and it won an award and it was recognized and this was supported and by which our was government. the award that we got to win? Uh, the best uh, exhibition okay. from Africa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sam, this causes me to put you under the spot. We do yes. have the National Theatre, which is the cultural center. Yes. And uh, somehow it has sort of become a hub for wedding meetings than it yes. has become a hub to promote what she's been talking about, activities yes. Yes. in visual, in, in, in print, in yes. press, mm. that are actually able at improving the livelihood of people so what's your defense in that um, first of all national theater money or national theater is a, is an important space for art that is in Kampala and that's why it is called national theater but it is also the headquarter of Uganda National Cultural Center, which now embraces the broader picture of culture so to have a wedding meeting there is is to promote family <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is you political it's stuff. just to promote family that's one aspect but also I, uh, I can say without any fear of contradiction mm. that the art as National Theatre is conceived for mm -hmm. is happening on a daily basis that there is no single day at the Uganda National Theatre that the theatre is not fully booked for artistic performances, performance mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. Let alone the fact that there is a craft village mm. that promotes the visual aspects of art. Yeah. Let alone the fact that most of the cultural institutions mm -hmm. that govern art and culture like National Culture Forum, like the Uganda Music uh, Musicians Association and all the different structures that manage art, they are hosted and Uganda National Theatre, the management of art and culture is there. So, wedding meeting is a good thing. To promote and family. The family. Yes. <laughs> okay, Hadra, in your capacity as Senior Culture Officer, as we are celebrating World Culture Day, uh, are there activities under the ministry that are being worked on for us as Uganda to actually engage in these uh, celebrations? Uh, yes, Priscilla, we have had a whole week's arrangement of activities. We began we work uh, way back um, early in the week around Tuesday, where the Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Social Development, uh, with support from UNESCO, United Nations Scientific Connection and Culture and Education, uh, supported us to actually do a, a, a launch of the globe, uh, UNESCO's global report uh, on the implementing activities geared towards the protection and promotion. Um, of our cultural diversity and uh, cultural expressions. So we launched that global report on Tuesday, 17th. Uh, on 18th, uh, Wednesday 18th, uh, still um, the, the Minister of Gender, together with the Minister of Tourism, uh, had the National uh, World Museums Day, which we was commemorated uh, at Uganda Museums uh, Center. Then uh, on the 19th, uh, yesterday 19th, we had an activity to launch our own Uganda national reports on disseminating what exactly Uganda does under the UNESCO Convention 2005. So we have had all those activities and today we are also in many other parts of this country trying to celebrate culture in different ways. Mm -hmm. We are working together with the civil society organizations like CCFU that are also out there in the regions trying to do activities to protect culture 
And actually, we're talking about our diversity in culture because Uganda has over 65 communities. And so we try to appreciate each other, how we can best live together and enjoy ourselves and uh, protect okay. our diversity. All right. Sam, in your capacity as chairman, how are you actually protecting and promoting culture? Because now we see, because of through education majorly, mm -hmm. we see exposure to other different forms of culture from yes. other parts of the world, yes. which people are quickly adapting to, which yes. means that they're dropping their yes. very own essence yes. of their roots and yes. culture. W one thing that we are doing now is to move the management of culture from uh, an informal sector to a more formal sector. Uh, because in that way then, once you have the right statistics, you have the, uh, uh, the right information, you can help to guide our people. And also to bring the understanding that um, Uganda is, 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 uh, is, is, is the cradle of humanity. And therefore, there's a lot of indigenous knowledge mm -hmm. that has started from here that needs to be protected. And so one of the things that government is trying to do now is to make sure that, first of all, we as Ugandans appreciate our culture. And that's why government is investing a lot in the restructuring of the cultural management. That's why the, the government is supporting, for example, the cultural institutions through the ministry. That's why. Um, you had recently, uh, during the, the, the pandemic, uh, at the peak of the pandemic, government uh, supported uh, uh, the, the, the musicians, for the example, to, to do uh, uh, the e-concert. E uh, government invested over 10 billion shillings in our uh, in our, our our music, in the promotion of the Uganda's image, and government has just in invested in the promotion of uh, this uh, the exhibition in, uh, at, uh, of course through UNCC mm -hmm. uh, in, in in Venice, where we have Achaye uh, co uh, and and Colin Sekajugo ex exhibiting and showing the people the works of the of the people of Uganda, especially uh, Achaye's work. Uh, depicts uh, the works of uh, basket weaving and how you can see the livelihood of the people of uh, Uganda through the just a piece of art and, yeah. and, and how that is an important thing that the world needs to, uh, to, to partake of other than just for us saying ours is not as good, therefore we are attract yeah, the, the wrong culture. And of course we are participating in the school uh, uh, cultural activities like the music festival so that within the, the young people, the young generation, is, uh, it is seen that we have values. And you, you, the media, need to help us also that you, you, you give more platform for the, our cultural products okay. and, and to showcase culture. them and okay. report on yeah. culture okay. more. Okay. Sure. So right. we are grateful that we are here. We are grateful we are here. We are very grateful we are here. get to look yes. at arts and culture. Uh, so you have mentioned something very interesting. Uh, uh, through the schools, promoting culture through schools, I went to a traditional school, if we, that's what they called it at the time, yes. a traditional school, and it really did promote arts and culture alongside the other uh, formal education. But in today's education system, especially in the private sector, they have instead eliminated mm. arts and mm. culture from the system and the development of children mm. in this country. Yeah. And so mm. you end up having a next generation that mm. is cultureless. Yeah, they have sure. no idea about their mm. language, mm. their you know their livelihood mm. and uh, their customs, their norms and their rituals and mm. things like that. Sure. And uh, these are things that get to be appreciated mm. uh, through those participations in the MDTs. Yes. You get to appreciate other people cultures yes. so through you NCC is starting with you how do you intend to remedy that and have a culture centered generation to come um, we, we th there, are, there are a couple of things I think one of them is that uh, there, there must be some legal reforms to make sure and I uh, maybe my colleague Azar will, will speak to this a little bit about the culture policy that's one area that uh, is we are, we, are, we are dealing with now, <coughs> and we know it will help. And uh, the other area is that the, the UNCC is now going to the different uh, regions. Mm -hmm. So because, um, because the, of the, the current government support uh, for Uganda National Cultural Center, we are now going to set up regional centers around the country and create hubs and create uh, 
one-stop centers that will generate and bring out the different cultural ideas of Uganda. So we are expanding to the regions. Okay, all right. The Uganda National Council <coughs> Policy, does it address this particular pandemic that we are having in terms of culture deficiency in the generation to come? Yes, uh, currently we are reviewing uh, the 2006 uh, Uganda National Culture Policy. We have uh, consulted widely and we are aware of course some time back uh, from 2006 to date many things have changed. Mm -hmm. A number of um, issues have happened, we have gone digital, a number of developments have really happened. Mm -hmm. And so in the process of reviewing we are trying to bring back all that was lost, all that we had uh, left out during that time. And so you're right to say that a number of arts in schools and arts in the curriculum has been dropped but we are trying to ensure that in the new policy in the rev revised policy all these issues um, are brought uh, on board and we're also trying to promote our local language mm -hmm. because we don't want our children to lose out and uh, we also have got the kiswahili commission it has been approved and uh, in so doing we want to promote kiswahili as well as a second language and so we don't want to miss out on, uh, at all on that. Okay. All right. Well, the sciences <coughs> have challenged the arts and culture mm -hmm. uh, to it to the extent that they lobbied and have even called upon, you know, science teachers, doctors, and anyone participating in the science <coughs> sector is mm -hmm. actually going to be given an extra appreciation or award or reward or wage for that matter, depending on how they get to participate in science. Mm -hmm. And so clearly uh, the scientists have lobbied for their presence in society, in changing culture. Uh, we are not seeing the same effort coming through from the arts and culture side to also, you know, have their stance and uh, be known and also e contribute or put themselves to a forefront and say, look here, we are as important sure. as science. Yeah. So from the ministry, what is, uh, what's the remedy to that? We, we have taken note of that and that at many meetings, at many forums, that has come out clearly and we are trying to put together our, our voices as well to ensure that uh, we are also considered equally because we are equally important. Yes. You see, <coughs> uh, I, I, I belong to the school of people who thinks that art is the higher science. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. Because art forms the basis of reason of science. And so, um, but also uh, the people in the arts and culture are very mindful of social development. And so when you're mindful of social development, you're also concerned about where the money you demand for comes from. So I think what, what is happening in the art is that we are more focused on on building mm -hmm. eh, resources, building a community, building a Uganda that stands together as a peaceful society. I, I think that is where the focus of the art is. You, you listen to our music, listen to the, 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 the drawings that's going on. It's about uh, locating our position and contribution in the international community. Yeah. And we know that through that uh, a lot is going on. And I, I tell you, one, one of the reasons why I think that culture is, uh, is science, is the higher position of science. Where did uh, COVID come from? It came from the local hubs. Mm -hmm. eh? And those hubs come from our culture. So it's, it's, uh, sometimes we misguide our discussions because we take uh, a definition that is not very African, and that's not specific You call it misguided discussion. <laughs> I think you don't raise the same voice uh, as a scientist. So we will hear them more. Yes. We will hear you. Yes. Uh, so I guess that's a challenge to both of you in your capacities. Yes. And uh, now uh, back to the World Culture Day that we are yes. celebrating. Sam, under the National uh, Cultural Center, how are we celebrating this day? What activities have been put in place, and how can we participate? Tomorrow, there's, there's an extravaganza at the Uganda National Cultural Center, full of uh, activities of performances, there are symposiums, there are discussions that are going on uh, right from 8 a.m. in the morning. So we'd like to invite everybody to come to National Theater and uh, tour the different exhibitions, and the, the exhibitions are very broad, and it takes care of all the different domains of art. There, there are things related to, to health, there are things related to celebrations, culture and celebrations, so that means there are shows, there are symposiums, there are, there are discussions that are going on 
and we have you know people who are going to give us a lot of literature on arts and culture and uh, yeah and so National Theatre tomorrow will be a good place to spend. And this is going to be from what time to what time? Is there an entrance fee? Oh, entrance is no. free. Entrance is free. Okay. Yes. From what time to yes. what time? Yes, from 8 in the morning till 5. Okay. Yes. All right. And Hadar, in the capacity of the ministry, I know these are still ongoing activities for yeah. celebration of World Culture Day. Yeah. How do the Ugandans get to participate in what you are doing? Uh, well, we are going tomorrow. We are going to join uh, our colleagues at UNCC. We shall all be in the same place. We have invited um, everyone. It's it's a free entry, and um, everyone is welcome. We are going to have our ministers present. Uh, talk to the nation about the importance of culture, especially on the theme. We are looking at uh, culture post COVID nineteen. How do we use culture to rebuild this nation? How do we use culture to rebuild um, to make it commercial? So that people gain from what they are doing. You will realize that during COVID-19, the culture economy totally closed. When there no, were no gatherings, people were not earning from, from culture. And so we want to see what happens in case of another pandemic. How do we continue with culture, rebuilding the nation economically? Okay, all right. Hadar, I know you're a mother. Uh, of course, it's the state's duty to protect and preserve culture. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but it's also the parents' role to instill their mm. appreciation of culture mm. in, you know, in the children that we have in this nation. So sure. from your motherly capacity, mm. what would you say to parents out there mm. uh, in this day and era, dot com as they call it, yeah, sure. um, how do you get to encourage them to appreciate and extend uh, mm. culture to their children? I, I just want to talk to the parents' minds to actually take on their roles. Many parents have relegated their roles to our housekeepers, to the television sets, to the neighbors and everyone and have uh, made themselves so busy. So it's still our, our, our responsibility as parents to ensure that our children grow within our cultural values and norms and know where they come from irrespective of the environment in which they, in which they are, whether you're working on the wrong, but kindly spare time. Let us have that, that, that time. They used to call it the fireplace. Let's, mm. let's create the fire spaces in our, in our sitting rooms and talk to our, to our children, irrespective of what we are doing and, and the time we come back home. But please, the idea is that for us, we should uh, spare time for our children because it's our responsibility mm. to culturally transmit our cultural values to our children. And okay. no one else will do it for us apart from ourselves. That's true. Thank you so much, Hadra. And Sam, finally, uh, the boy child has been left behind. Yes, the girl child is running very fast, so mm. the boy child is lagging behind. Uh, how do we get to promote culture and also protect it, preserve it for them uh, to enjoy in the future as the boy child? I think the first thing is like what uh, uh, my colleague Hadra has said is to bring back those uh, commu communing spaces in our homes mm. and so when you create those spaces everybody become everybody has a role to play and uh, also that uh, we should go back to the value of our people that says a child is a child it doesn't matter whether it is a boy child or a girl child so that we promote our children because uh, what we th the way we describe our children is the way they aspire to be so if you keep telling the girl child you are unlucky, you are left out, that's the direction she will take. Mm. Let us bring our children as mm. children. Let's make our home the first parliament. Mm. Let's talk to our children. Let's listen to them. Let's hear their opinions. Let's see that each, each, every child is special in their own way. And, okay. and uh, the, the boy child needs to know that... Uh, their, their gifts are different. The gifts of the girl child is different, which is mostly nurturing. That's their gift. And the gift of the boy child is survival and making sure that everybody lives together. And those values, once combined, then humanity has a better space to be. 
All right, humanity has a better space to be. Culture also has a better s place to be. Sam Okelo Kelo, who's the chairman for the Uganda National Culture Center. Thank you so much thank uh, you, for Priscilla. that input. It's been very insightful. Hajar Nalubika, who's the senior culture officer with the Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Social Development also. Thank you so much for those deliberations. And You're I'm welcome. pretty sure you have changed the mindset or two uh, from this conversation as we have been deliberating about the World Culture Day that we get to celebrate today at the National Theatre to Tomorrow from 8 a.m. Doors are going to be open free of charge. Uh, please come and participate and enjoy every form of culture that we have here in Uganda. Diversity is very, very good. And so we hope that uh, with, uh, you know, the culture that we have in the country, we get to preserve as well as protect Uganda's culture, heritage, and the right to culture and other similar rights. Well, that brings us to the end of this discussion. Let's continue on. In our business, we get to look at the film industry. Industry. Yesterday we had the Uganda Film Festival nominations. It was a glamorous night and we had nominations coming through in different categories of film. We're going to be looking at that and having this conversation in detail with Andrew Kagwasa. Don't go 